You're watching Texas Gun Blog, and today we're looking at the Smith & Wesson Model 10-7. A little behind the Model 10 history, uh, it was previously known as the 38 Hand Ejector Model of 1899. The Smith & Wesson Military and Police, or M&P, or the Smith & Wesson Victory Model. It's a revolver of uh, worldwide popularity, to say the least. It was the successor to the Smith & Wesson 32 Hand Ejector Model of 1896, and was the first Smith & Wesson revolver to feature a cylinder release latch on the left side of the frame like the Colt M1889. In production since 1899, it is a six-shot double-action revolver with fixed sights. Over its long production run, it has been available with barrel lengths of 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 inches. Barrels of 2.5 inches are also known to have been made for special contracts. Some 6 million of the type have been produced over the years, making it the most popular center, revol center fire revolver of the 20th century. After World War II, Smith & Wesson returned to manufacturing the M&P series uh, that they had stopped production on um, after starting making the Victory model after the war. Along with cosmetic changes and replacement of the frame-fitting grip, with the Magna stocks, the spring-loaded hammer block safety gave way to a cam-actuated hammer block that rode in the channel and the side plate. In 1957, Smith & Wesson adopted the convention of using numeric designations to distinguish their various models of handguns, and the M&P was renamed the Model 10. This is where you'll get the Dash 1, Dash 2, etc. The M&P Model 10 has been available in both blued steel finish and nickel finish for most of its production run. The model has also been offered throughout the years in both round butt and square butt grip patterns. Beginning with the Model 10 5 series in the late 1960s, the tapered barrel and its trademark half moon front sights were replaced by a straight bull barrel and sloped milled ramp front sight. We really hope you appreciate uh, us bringing you the high quality close-ups here of this revolver. Anytime uh, a Smith & Wesson Model 10 is available, we try to snatch it up if the price is right. There's so much history behind these revolvers, and especially in a configuration like you see here, uh, the 2-inch model. It's very easy to carry and to handle uh, a pistol like this, and the weight really contributes to uh, being a great shooter. So once again, we appreciate you watching our videos. We hope you continue to. You can see us at texasgunblog.com. And please remember to hit the subscribe button. Thank you.